Hi, I'm Valder Beebe, and I host the Valder Beebe Show on FM radio and internet television. I am famously known for that celebrity interview, which I conduct by cell phone, in studio, or satellite media tours. Go to ValderBeebeShow.com, YouTube.com slash ValderBeebeShow, or our partnership network with Business in the Black, which is BlackSuccessAcademy.com, and click on the Valder BB Show's channel. I'll see you there. No. Good morning, Dr. Leslie Cho. How are you? Good. What kind of, what is, is there an ethnic origin to Valder? It's a Dutch name. It's a long story. You'd have to have coffee with me. For <laughs> <laughs> it's a Dutch name, and oh, BB nice. is a German name, but thank you for asking. Oh, it's nice. Well, thank you. Well, Leslie Cho is not bad either now. No, I just can... not, not bad. <laughs> I just couldn't tell if you were a guy or a girl. It's a great name to have. Yes, you know what? This is true. Absolutely. Well, I want my audience to know I'm talking with Dr. Leslie Cho. She's going to let us know the Cleveland Clinic. They're going to let us know your risk factors for a healthy heart. And this is Heart Month we're in, Dr. Cho. Yes, it is. Thank you so much for having me. It's my pleasure. I always want to have an opportunity to help my audience to live the best life possible. And they told me you were one of the best, so I had to have you on the show. Oh, that's a very sweet. Thank you. I think it's a great message. I think prevention is the way we cure heart disease. It is. As we move into Heart Healthy Month, and people may think about their heart more, you know, because we don't think about our heart until something's wrong. What do we need to know? Well, I think the one thing we need to know is that we need to eat well, to exercise, and to be proactive uh, in taking care of our heart health, which means that you should be going to see your primary care doctor or your family practice doctor and getting your blood pressure checked and getting some yearly blood tests. When you make these appointments, do you need to know what to ask the doctor? Is the doctor going to be a student? He's going to know what to do for us. Well, I hope they are astute, um, but we want them to be checking your blood pressure, make sure it's less than 140 over 90. We want them to be checking your cholesterol, not that, so that they can start you on medicine, so that you can watch what you eat and, and be mindful. As we get older, our cholesterol level always goes up, so it's important to check your cholesterol each year. Um, also to check fasting glucose so that you are not diabetic and also to measure your body mass index. Body mass index is something you can do at home. It's your height to your weight ratio. Um, it's important to keep that less than 25. And if you're a smoker, you should stop smoking and hopefully your doctor can have a talk with you or get you on stuff to help you quit smoking. Those are great, those are great tips, doctor. Heart disease, it says, is the number one killer of all Americans. And according to the Heart Health Survey you're gonna tell us about, you can give us maybe some, uh, uh, give us a few facts from that so people can understand. So heart disease is indeed number one killer for both men and women. And traditionally, women have focused on breast cancer and gynecological cancer as the risk. But it turns out it's heart disease. And it's important to be proactive because women, like men, can prevent heart disease by following simple things that we just talked about. It's important to be aware of some of the symptoms women don't necessarily have the traditional chest pressure when they're having experiencing um, heart disease. They may have extreme shortness of breath or fatigue as some of their symptoms. And to be assessed by a professional if they start having some of these symptoms. You know, oftentimes we see even in 2017, women present to the emergency room 30 minutes later than men with their heart attack. You know, each minute counts. Um, after 15 minutes, heart muscle starts dying. Each minute counts. So we want women, if they're having symptoms, not to be their own doctor, 
but to go to their uh, physician, go to their emergency room if they're having these symptoms. I'm really big on what's going on with the Affordable Health Care Act because I get to talk to exceptional people like you. And doctors, they're a little concerned, but they say that there's an answer. They say, and you said this at the beginning, become proactive in your own life. Do your own self-maintenance, which you guys have been telling us for years. Once again, could you remind us of what we can do to play a part in having a healthy heart? I think the number one thing we can do is to eat better, um, eat in moderation. I think everyone in America, for the most part, know what's good food, what's bad food. We sometimes ignore it because of our busy schedule, because of... You know, who knows, there's some cultural things, there's some personal things, but everyone knows what to eat. We have to eat in moderation. We also have to exercise. We have to move each day. You know, a lot of times when people hear me talk about exercise, they think, oh my God, I got to go to a gym. I got to buy a new outfit. I got to get new shoes. That's not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is moving uh, most days of the week. I want you to, even minimal increase in exercise improves your life, not just your life, improves your mental health. Um, and walking is, there's no money associated with walking. You can walk, anybody can walk. I love those. Um, my housekeeper, she's 80, probably 80 something, she doesn't tell me. She works so hard every day and she's so healthy. I'm so serious. I admire that. She sweeps, she lifts, she takes out the trash. She works very, very hard, and her life is full, and, and it has complemented her with good health. Yes. So I know what you're saying is true. Yes, it's very important. Uh, you know, I think it's important to have a healthy, active lifestyle. And, you know, our uh, listeners can go to cle.clinic backslash loveyourheart to find more information about heart disease, about these numbers, and how to exercise and eat right. Dr. Leslie Cho, you probably saved many lives with your brief conversation on the Valder BB Show, so I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much.